alaikum hey guys and oh, welcome back to Rook Samala. My name is Rook and Muhammad Sali. So if you're a channel subscriber, I am so you're one of my favorite people because being back on my channel means a lot to me. And if this is your first time on my channel, I am so glad to have you. You can be part of the family by clicking on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside it. That way you can get notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. So today's video is like a very personal video to me because I I, I think I shared a post about this on on my instagram page don't forget to follow me on instagram if you're on instagram i'll put the link down in the description box as well so i shared a post about it about this on instagram but then i feel like the context of, of that post needs to be a youtube content so here is me creating that video for you guys and i know that a lot of people will relate to me because sometimes you don't even know that we go through that it's just about you know mental health and then yeah that's just it Growing up, I've been this, I wouldn't say I was a bubbly kind of person, but I knew that, you know, on a personal level, like maybe within my family, I was talkative. My sisters, if <laughs> like if you ask any of my family members, they'll tell you, that's what they call me, like the talkative, the parrots, the everything, all those names, radio me, Jenny. And I don't mind it, but if I'm, the moment I'm outside my home, I'm a totally different person. I am quiet. I remember when I was in primary one, my school teacher was... It was parents' day, so he was telling my mom that if I come to school, I don't talk to anyone. Like, I'm the quiet child, and she's like, well, she's a little bit of that at home, but then she's like that with people. So I didn't come to that realization until, like, recent years. The chances of me initiating a friendship or, you know, just making friends is closer to none because I feel really anxious when I'm around people, so... It was, you know, do, doing research and all in this recent years, people like are getting oriented with mental health. Based on my own personal experiences and I found from my research, you know, watching videos, going to mental health um, talks and programs and events. So I don't know if I'm in the place to say that it was social anxiety because I feel anxious when I'm around a lot of people or people that I don't know. The instances that I can recall or the instances that really stood out in my head was my IJMB program. That was, I think, 2015, something like that. 2014, 2015, something like that. So I walked into the school cafeteria and the moment I walked into it, it was like open space. It was filled to the brim with students because it was like the lunch period for almost every student in the school so i was like oh my god i started like shivering in like not really shivering but i felt shivers to my bone i couldn't stand that like i couldn't stand the sight of people i felt like everybody was looking at me stuff like that so i couldn't and i was famished i wanted to eat i stood there a few feet apart from the cafeteria gate and i was like looking at everybody Everybody was just minding their business, but I felt like all eyes were on me and I couldn't move. I stood there, I froze for like a minute. Then it was like flight or fight response. I took the flight, I walked out, I ran home. Like it was, I think, almost remaining two periods for me. I couldn't go back to class, I just went home. I don't know what happened, but I froze at that moment. I don't know what to do and every time that happens, I just go back home. I just go home. That's the best that's the best solution for me so that's one incident like another incident one was when i was here in sudan there have been a lot of you know scenarios happening in my life not just a lot like most scenarios happening in my life and almost everything that i do it was of recent years that it made really sense to me that oh that so that was what i was doing like i really behaved in that kind of way so we had this there was this indonesian international debate going on i was part of it I was head of, I think, female students in my school then, 2018, yeah, right, 2019, 2018, something like that. So we had everything planned. I went to their meetings, like everything was sorted out. I was going to take, I was going to be a part of the debate competition itself. And I, mind you, I am very good, I'm excellent at public speaking. They say, there's an Arabic saying that whoever says he is, he's not, but trust me, sometimes you have to give yourself accolades because nobody else is going to give you. But that's not the case here. When I know that I'm, when I say that I'm good at something, trust me, I am because sometimes I'm the last person to believe that I'm actually good at something. 
that's just how it works with me i'm trying i'm still trying to work on that or oh, i'm working on it not trying i am working on that giving myself the credit that i deserve but then i know that i'm good because like right from primary school i was into public speaking so that isn't a case for me the day of the competition i woke up late and i even rallied people to go like to be involved into the, into the competition i woke up late i entered the venue i could i like it's just like for me few feet across the hall i was looking at the hall they also didn't start like they were running late they didn't start like early i think i walked into the place 10 minutes after the commencement of the program i stood there because knowing that if i walk into that hall people are seated down everybody is you know concentrated on whoever walks into that door like there is there's going to be a lot of eyes on me i just froze in that moment i was like oh my god it's either you walk in like you know the walk of shame into yeah in this context the walk of shame into that competition or you can go back home and just message them it's going to be really better for you that if you message them you can't make it because they have a lot of people competing in in your own segment and you've reduced some work for them i stood there froze frozen i was looking right through the hole i couldn't walk into it and i ran to the garden behind the venue and i stayed there i beat myself up honestly i was like rooks you're a failure you just couldn't do this i was just like you know hitting myself with all these bad words i was just i was filled with anger and i stayed there for like an hour seated there a lot of people were passing me they were entering the but i just couldn't i was so afraid that if i walk in there something bad is going to happen oh like i don't know what made me i just went back home and i slept one of my coping mechanisms i would say back then was just go and sleep if i wake up it's like nothing happened it all happened in a dream that is how my brain tricks me that so like these two scenarios they really stood out because every time it just came it just comes back to me like it keeps coming back to me and i keep thinking about it i was into mental health depression all this you know um adhd stuff i was just into it doing some research just to know why stuff are happening because i thought i was totally fine i'm not saying that i'm sick but you know sometimes you don't know what is going on with you until you start digging deep into something so and Mahim, what I want to share with you is how I cope, how I calm myself down in moments like this. And ever since I realized that and I started using this because honestly, therapy is really expensive. Not everyone can afford it. So you have to find ways to start. You have to find ways to help yourself. So I started with breathing exercises. I've learned in every article that you read, any video that you watch, anyone, whoever is a mental health professional, even... I think Jay Shetty had a, had a video up for, you know, something about breathing, how it helps you calm down. Stuff like that is breathing exercise. Start with them. Just, not just breathing, like the normal breathing I do. No, deeply breathing and then making sure that you're aware of your environment. It's like meditating, but then you have to calm yourself down. You have to be aware. You have to be present in that moment when you're taking those breaths. So I'll just calm myself down. Find somewhere quiet, sit myself down and start breathing in and out. And that helps me really calm down. And I talk a lot to myself. That's one thing that I really like about myself. If I'm, I think if I share with behind the scenes with you, you'll see that I talk a lot to myself. Because when I talk to myself, it's like the voice that I hear is like someone is telling me that. That's just, I don't know how it works, but I talk to myself. So if I calm myself down without breathing, what I will do is say, Rooks, you can do this. I say that a lot to myself because it helps me. It just naturally helps me. When I say that, it feels like, yeah, I can do this. I'm telling myself that you can do this because I know what you've done before and there's a lot more coming from you. So in this moment, you're not the one. It is that whatever anxiety stuff that is going on, it shouldn't stop you because you can really do it. So that's one thing. One, the first one is breathing exercise. When I do that to calm myself down, then I tell myself that I can do it. In whatever situation it is, no matter how anxious I, I, 
I keep repeating that until I feel like from every nerve in my, in my body starts believing that, yes, we can actually do this. So let's go out there and do it. Secondly. So thirdly, I had to write them down. That's why I'm looking down. So there's another article about having a cold of water. Not just articles, but anything about anxiety that helps you calm down. It talks about having something cold or an ice, a, a pack of ice, stuff like that. I can't really go into how the mechanism works, but it really does. If you have access, that is where wherever you see me, you see me with my water bottle. And if I'm not out with my water bottle, I find the nearest place that I can get something cold to help me calm down as well. So I drink, I take a sip of water because I can't really pour it on my body. I take a sip of water or I just wash my face. Bring It helps bring me back into reality. Like for a second, you just like, you snap and then you're back. So I take a cold a sip of cold of I take a sip of cold water or I wash my face with it. This is a disclaimer. This video should not be a means that someone can hold it as it can help you if but like you shouldn't use this video as a way to diagnose yourself. If you can get if you can go somewhere and get the diagnosis and ways to help from a professional, please do that. Because this is just based on what I read or what I find in my in the little research that I do, I'm not a health professional, I'm not a mental health professional and stuff like that, or a health care giver or anything, I'm not. So please don't use this as a means of, as an evidence to diagnose yourself or to, it can help you, but this shouldn't be your real source of getting information. Another thing that really helps me is be aware of my environment. How do I become aware of my environment? If I'm going to an event, I will ask who is going there. I want to know who is going there. If there's a familiar face, it helps me feel like, okay, you're safe here. Like you're with someone who you know. This, this sense of um, calmness that you feel when you know that, okay, at this event that I'm going, this person is going and I won't be alone. I won't be all by myself. It's going to help me. That's why I always bring a friend along. Whenever I'm going to somewhere that I'm not really certain, I always bring a friend. That's why you always see me with Zainab. We always go out together if I'm out there and I can I can be out in public doing my stuff like running errands. I like to run errands alone, but if I'm going somewhere that I'm not really that I'm not really certain or I think I might have, you know, some issues out there, I always take a friend along. The last item on our list is go early. Whenever I'm going to a program, if you really know me, I go there early. Why? For me to when you when I go there early, I see people arrive like I'm there and they're arriving gradually. It doesn't feel like I'm walking into the crowd like straight ahead. But when I go there early, they arrive gradually and I'm used, my system is used to the gradual arrival of people, not like just hits you on the face that, oh, there's so much, there's so much people. And then I also leave early because when you're living, it's like, it's like a trick that I play with my mind. If I leave early, I'm not going with the crowd. Like, I feel more comfortable with doing that. So that's just how I help calm myself. And trust me, like through the years that I started doing these things, it has really helped me a lot. I know that I am a very confident person, but sometimes you just can't help it. No matter how confidence, having anxiety or having social anxiety or general GAD, general anxiety disorder does not mean that you're not all right or anything. It means that you're okay. It's just some intrusive thoughts that are, that is messing with your mind. That's just it. This is the end of the video. If you really enjoyed it, if you find anything useful in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. If you have gone through, like if you have experienced anything like this, let me know down in the comment section. And if you have used any of these ways that I mentioned that helped me calm myself down and it works for you, let me also know. Or if you haven't tried it, if you have any other ways that you try to help calm yourself down in difficult situations, let me know because we're out here to help one another. And lastly, I want you to know that having anxiety or generalized anxiety disorder or social anxiety does not mean you're not okay. I'm repeating this because I know how much it means to me and to people who feel, who feel me out there. So um, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below and share it with your friends and family. Meet you guys in my next video. Bye!